welcome to another video and today as of 21 hours ago team limit has responded but before we get to that i would like to bring you up some tweaks that happened days earlier even right now which led to this response on november 12th Zokes came out with this tweet longer response on the video that was servicing the last couple of weeks. It reads in part, Hi, during this full clip I was normally talking to this girl as she asked me if I liked Trump or Biden. She was vaping as well. So I asked her age because asking me about politics was something that I would never share publicly just turning 16 as I can't even vote and she didn't seem old enough as well. She told us she was 13 so I asked her why it matters about Trump or Biden and why she was AP. Okay so before I continue reading I was confused as, as first if Silks was 13 as well and, and the girl was 13 when he talked to her. But judging from the Twitter that I'm now reading, I made that mistake on that video and I would like to now correct that Silks was 16 and not 13. During this time, I was, I was streaming. During streams, we dragged 15 to 20 people into the stream call so my community feels involved and so we can all vibe. A 13-year-old in my call proceeded to say what he said. Again, it wasn't me who said that. I apologize to anyone who... who it ended and shouldn't have posted that clip. I am a young content creator that recently started getting views, and with that comes learning and being held accountable for what I post on my YouTube channel, which I now know. Which I, yeah, which I now know. Even though I wasn't the one who said it, I did post it. I would like to plot I, I would again like to apologize to anyone who felt offended or uncomfortable seeing that clip and have since deleted the video. Thank you. Judging from the comments of of the tweet leading up to this quit longer, some people still don't understand. And we're trying to really cancel Sulks, who, who who came out with a perfectly ex explainable statement, in my opinion. And since many people didn't like that res response by reading it, because they didn't read the whole thing, obviously, Sulks have to tweet it out again. The very next day, you first tweeted on November 13th under new management guidance. Then he tweeted, if you saw the Fortnite guy's video, he clearly states it wasn't me who said what was said. To all of you who tried saying it was me, there you go. It was it, it again was someone in my call and if you saw the clip you could tell it wasn't me and I agree with that I agree that even though it was Soak's mistakes for letting that video go out he did not say what the other person who was in the discord call said And judging by some of these responses now, 
we are now more positive than in the last tweet I just read. Curio responded, the bet that the bet it was green lighted and highlighted by the management is absolutely disgusting. Sexualizing minors is appalling, especially by an organization that would launch influence over a young impression of demographic. Fucking disgusting. And he tagged war, what the fuck, and official limit GG. And then came out with this response. He came out with this response later by saying, Limit is really trying to come back. I don't agree with cancel culture, quote unquote, in the majority of cases, but this time it's acceptable. A sickening ring of pedophile, pedophilic teenagers should never be allowed to have a watch influence over a democratic of children. The issue lies in the oversight of the sexualization of the little girl and then promoting the action to a young impressionable audience pre predominantly male children ranging from 11 to 17 in age and then some responses from Cheerios uh, tree Like, uh, you know, I have no words, but people have uh, disagreed with Cheerio. And, you know, it's kind of not, it kind of wasn't looking good from there. And, and that's when the situation got even worse. LMT Moore came out with this quick longer, which says here. Limit Moore came out with this response, response and he said, Okay, so most of you have seen the recent have seen in the recent video. We posted a video yesterday around, in around three minutes. A number of the Sulks call Sulks was in made a joke that was completely completely disgusting. Both people were 13 but it was still unacceptable. Once again, I, as I clarified earlier, I thought Sulks was 13, he's actually 16. And the girl him, herself is 13. The video was removed very quickly after it was released, but it's still unacceptable that we missed for that and we understand he had already taken precautions before this exposing video quote unquote went out to prevent this from happening and as we are taking this very seriously I am not asking for forgiveness nor do I expect one as I know what was said was unacceptable but what I am asking for is a second chance. At Roar WTF then tweeted the video went up last minute and wasn't nearly booked over as it was a re-upload. This is one of the changes limit as a team has made to make sure this will never happen again. Then he continues on. No limit will not end. We have fucked up and we acknowledge that, but we have, we will come back from this and make sure it never happens again. We have taken action and released everyone involved with the video. Something I also want to clear, want to clear up, we fucked up, not sulks. This is 
just felt like the right decision. Soaks wasn't the one made the disgusting statement. He streams Omigo in his public court and a random person from his community decided to say it. And that's when the organization tweeted that regarding the, the video that has surfaced on November 12th, which says, in regards to, that, to the video that is currently getting exposed on Twitter and was uploaded to our YouTube, we are held accountable for our actions of uploading the video. We understand that we messed up, hence why the video was deleted well before the tweets of us came out. The video that was uploaded should not have been posted for any reason. Moving forward, we will be holding ourselves accountable. The fact that this has blown up also shows our routines that their content will need to be checked as well. Us included. Videos such as those will not be posted on our team channel ever again, even though it was not Sulks that said what was said. A member from his community said the, the inappropriate statement. We have taken action by indefinitely suspending Sulks as he is a long term member. We are giving him the opportunity to change his content around to be the best possible content creator he can be. The videos will be viewed by all of management before getting uploaded to our YouTube channel from this point on. We apologize for our actions and we look forward to move and we look to move forward as a team and community to bring better for everyone. We are sorry. Signed Limit Management. After that, at Roar WTF tweeted that he left Limit, not sure what's happening. Left the team, but I have come to this decision. Team's not ending, by the way. This was a personal decision. Then he uh, tweeted that I'm not gonna let Limit end. I've been thinking about it, and everyone always wanted for Limit to end, and we finally gave in. But after watching Yaxi's bid, I come to the conclusion I can't let it end. And the video that you saw yesterday, on yesterday's video, is the video I showed where it says the end. I felt everyone, I'm sorry. But then, of course, on November 13th, one more uh, responded to clear up the situation. I want to say a few things because I see a lot of misinformation going around. First, we took down the video around five hours after posting and apologized before we got any hate. The person who made the disgusting statement was saying no way affiliated with Limit and only got posted because we fucked up and didn't watch the video closely as we assumed that it was okay to be on Silk's channel. We didn't skim through it, but it was only, but it's only a second, a two second part where they say it. And everything people are saying is, it was the focus of the vid, which is not true. We did skim through it. The reason it got 
the reason this all got as much traction as it did are for a few, few reasons. People spread rumors that the girl was twerking, which just isn't true. People said it was a limited number who said that, which just isn't true. And people said it was some people's pedo stuff when both kids were 13. And then War Limit tweeted the and then the former teammate of of Team Limit tweeted the statement which if you already saw in the uh, last video I made about the situation there and you probably already know And then the organization tweeted this statement slash apology video coming soon. And then 21 hours later, according to this tweet, the account tweeted moving forward. And this is probably the video that I am not going to show you here. What's going on guys, it's Yaxi, owner of Team Limit, and I just wanted to take the time to address the current situation about a video we posted a little bit ago. This whole situation has been blowing up, the Fortnite guy hasn't made a video on it, it's been all over Twitter, and we just wanted to ensure that you guys hear our side of this story. I'm gonna let Roar explain what happened. If we can ask one thing, it would be just to listen to this video with an open mind, and hopefully we can move forward from the situation and continue to grow as people and continue to grow as an organization. Appreciate you guys for your time. I'm gonna toss it off to Roar. Hey guys, this is Roar. I'm the owner of Limit. I want to make it very, very clear that we take full responsibility for everything done and said in that video. Even though the person who made the disgusting statement isn't related to or affiliated with Limit in any way, it was still on our channel making it our responsibility. We have been running Limit for a little over a year. We put very much time and effort into it. However, we're still learning and we still make mistakes. This unfortunately was one of the biggest mistakes we could have made and for many it will be unforgivable. We aren't here to ask for forgiveness. We're here to admit where we were wrong, to ask for a second chance to prove ourselves to our community and our supporters. We've learned from the situation and have taken precautions to make sure it never happens again. In fact, we deleted the video, apologized long before we got exposed. The only good thing that came from the situation is when the community held us accountable, we were forced to learn and improve as people. What we posted on Wednesday was completely disgusting and never should have gone on any YouTube channel, especially a team one. Originally, we had a post for Wednesday, but the editor had to back out last minute, which led to us reaching out to our lead content creator for a backup video. We had trusted that he would send us an appropriate video, obviously because these videos are on his channel. We did a quick skim over the video, but nothing deep, and it turns out that that was the biggest mistake limit as an esports organization could have made. We have a lot of stuff that we need to work on, and we are currently working on them. We made a lot of changes to our management. We made a lot of changes to the way we approach content. We made a lot of changes to the way we release content. We made a lot of changes since this happened. Hopefully some of you guys can allow us to, to grow and allow us to move on from this mistake. I don't think this mistake should be the reason why the team ends, which is why we decided that after we take some time to, to better the team, to make these changes, we can relaunch and run things differently, run things better. I feel like it's best for the original creator of the video to explain to you guys what happened. What's going on guys? If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Zolx and I'm the lead CC for Limit. Um, I just wanted to go through what happened during the clip um, that most of you guys saw. So I was recording my videos like I normally do and when I record there are about 50 to 20 people who get dragged into my calls so my community feels more involved. And so during this time we came across a girl who asked me if I like Trump or Biden. Me being 16, I don't get into politics like that, you know, there's no reason to. Um, but if you are, that's completely fine. But she was also vaping and I was, you know, concerned about her age because she was vaping and she told me that she was 13. And I was confused to why a 13 year was vaping and I asked her and she didn't want to really answer my, my questions or, or quote unquote BS questions. And she said that she was going to get her gun. This is the part where some of you guys thought we asked her to do stuff, which we never did. Um, because she said she was going to get her gun in the closet. She obviously did not get her gun or come back with a gun in the clip if you guys saw it. 
Um, and then someone who got dragged into the Discord call, again, where we drag about 15 to 20 people to, like, you know, in the call, continued to say the things that were said, uh, unfortunately. Knowing that it was too far, I screamed yo and skipped her in a second. Um, but I do want to make it clear that it is 100% my fault as that kid was a part of my community and 100% my fault that me and my management slash editing team did not take that clip out. And I do want to stress, however, that nobody in Limit said those words, including myself. I never said anything. And the kid afterwards obviously got a ban from the server for being disgusting. And even though he was just a 13-year-old trying to make a joke, the joke was completely crossing that line. Um, but that all being said, me and the team limit are sorry that this all even happened, and it is a learning experience for all of us. At the end of the day, we just want to bring you guys appropriate, funny, or good content. And we appreciate everyone who's been supporting us through this whole situation. Love you guys all. Thank you. The final thing I'm going to address now that we have the whole situation like basically cleared up is we're not trying to blame the comm or like anything like that. There's a lot of screenshots going around from some of the stuff we said and how we reacted. But if they're really taking out of context, like if you actually seen the amount of fucking death threats we received, if you actually seen the amount of people calling us pedophiles and stuff, for something someone said and he's not even a part of the team, we're just defending our personal brand. We're just defending everything we've worked for throughout this entire process. We're not trying to blame the comm for anything. It's, it's not their fault. We fucked up. Doesn't justify the fact that we're receiving all this hate and all this negativity. And um, with all that being said, I hope this cancel culture shit comes to an end. I hope to set an example with this video. And I hope we can all just learn to accept constructive criticism and learn to acknowledge your mistakes and just move on. Again, we are really from the bottom of our hearts sorry. Sorry for everything. We're sorry to everyone who saw that. And more importantly, we're sorry to everyone who would affect it. Thank you to anyone who took the time to watch this video and hear our side of the story And we also wanted to thank every single person that has stuck by us throughout this entire situation That has showed us support and all this because they know the truth We thank you so much and you guys are the reasons why we realize we can't just run from this situation We can't just end the team The only thing that we can do is grow from this situation, learn from this situation, continue to move forward And that's what they're gonna and that's what they're gonna do so yeah that's probably gonna be about it <clears throat> But I still would like to make videos on people who have milked the situation for a couple of days by using Fortnite, Fort, Fortnite gameplay in it, or potentially Among Us gameplay in it. So, yeah, that'll be it, and uh, I'll have a video on, and again, I'll have that uh, video on those who clickbait the situation very, very soon, so stay tuned for that.